If you wanna keep your black paint in this kind of condition, even while off-roading, this is one of the first things you should definitely consider doing. All right, guys, we are here at Blackout Tinning. I'm dropping the truck off, and the next time you see this thing, it will actually be clean and it will be taken care of because what's happening right now is the truck has a lot of swirl marks on it. So the place I bought it from apparently didn't take care of it very well during the winter time. And yeah, there's a lot of swirl marking on it and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I knew what I was gonna do with the truck. And outside of the fact that it is very, very filthy dirty, it is also horribly swirl marked. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it under this light or not, but there is a lot of swirl marking in this paint and it's gonna be taken care of. So now for those of you who don't know, if you put some Expel on a car, what it actually does is it hides little scratches and it also hides swirl marks in this case. So you do not necessarily have to paint correct before putting on the Expel. And in this case, I'm not gonna paint correct. I'm just gonna have them put on some Expel over the entire truck, cover everything up, and it will magically erase the swirl marks as well as protect the paint for any kind of off-roading or anything I'm gonna do in the future. Now, of course, if you guys are familiar with the channel, you already know I like the Expel product. I really like the work that the guys up here at Blackout Tinning do, and this is no different. This is the only place I would bring my cars because they do a phenomenal job. Job, and of course it will be fully protected. So if you guys are interested in seeing the aftermath of all this, I'm gonna come pick this up in a couple days once the process is complete and this will literally look like a completely different truck. So I'm gonna walk in, hand them the keys, and then we're gonna be without the truck for a couple days. But like I said, next time you see it, it's gonna look like a totally different truck. All right, guys, so today's the day we get to go pick up the truck and I'm kind of having an internal battle with myself. What car do I take to go pick it up? <laughs> First world problems, I know, but I don't think we're gonna take the ZR1. The C8 is looking fan-freaking-tastic with the new high wing, but I don't think we're gonna take it either. I think today the C5 is gonna get some love, so let's jump in the C5, head up to Blackout Tinning and get a glimpse of the truck. I've been told it is quite the difference. Let's go see for ourselves. Even though the C5 is a little old, it's going on 22 years old at this point, I still really, really like it. The Corvette in general is just such a fantastic lineup of performance vehicles that you really can't discount any of them. So anyway, let's hear this 22 year old V8, which is still on the stock exhaust and doesn't sound bad, but you guys gotta remember in the 2000s era, exhausts were a lot more restrictive, but let's take a listen to this baby. Yeah, I mean, not bad, but soon to be better. And here we are, guys. We are rolling up to Blackout Tinning. Of course, they got a Corvette sitting out front. Why not? And then there's John, guys. We're rolling up on him. He's on secret. He doesn't know. Look at him. <laughs> but guys, check it out. This is the star of the show right here. Yes, it's looking freaking awesome. Let's take a look at it. So we just pulled up and I can already tell the truck looks massively different. It was really hard to see the swirl marks whenever I dropped it off, but trust me, there are freaking none here now. So this entire thing is covered with Expel. And of course, the man of the hour is here to talk to us a little bit about what they did to the truck and tell the camera a little bit about how bad the paint was on this thing. Absolutely, thanks Justin. So yeah, the paint on this was really thrashed. <laughs> we see it from dealerships all the time especially on black vehicles. And people always think because it's new, the paint's gotta be perfect. Well, that's never the case really. And in this case, it was really significantly on the other side of that. It was pretty bad. So uh, one thing though, that we always are preaching here, you don't need to do a full paint correction or whatever before you put film on. People argue with me on that. I'm sure somebody on this video is going to tell me that I'm wrong. I'm telling you, we're right. This paint was really bad. We're in direct sunlight right now. It looks perfect. And the reason for that, the adhesive in the film is gonna hide all of those micro scratches and swirl marks. And if you ever have to remove it, then maybe you do some paint correction or whatever, but there's really no, no reason to spend the extra time or money to do that. So that's what we did on this. We did a full wrap and now the thing looks like it has perfect paint and it's protected from rock chips. Yeah, so guys, I had Josh do just originally because he is so freaking busy up here all the time. I had him just do the hood and the front bumper and i'll put a picture in here because i took a picture of the hood done and the fender not done and you could clearly see the difference the fender was just swirl marked beyond belief and then the hood looked perfect so now the entire truck looks perfect again blackout tinning is always hitting it out of the freaking park up here i always bring my cars here for this exact reason you guys can expect the same kind of treatment so thank you again josh as always absolutely huge pleasure always a good time here at blackout 
this is what happens when you have a super clean black car same problem oh he's gone now but same problem with my black zr1 there's constantly spiders all over it i don't get it but anyway guys check this guy out this is the youtube operator for blackout tinning they do have a channel if you guys have not checked it out definitely make sure you do because they have fantastic cars here all the time there's actually a a C6 in there peeking out behind him that they're tinting the windows on right now. And of course, this is actually one of their lesser days for cars because they usually have literal supercars up here. Ford GTs, McLarens, Lambos, all that good stuff. I will put a link to their YouTube channel down in the description below. Definitely check them out. While we're on the topic of black paint looking really good with some Expel, check out what black paint looks like with some ceramic coating. So this one is not expelled as far as I can tell, but it has just recently been ceramic coated from the guys here at Blackout Tinning. It looks just as good, but it is not as protected. So you can kind of make a choice here either you want to go for the shine and the ease of cleaning or you want to go for protection now if you want to have both you can absolutely do that too so you would put down the expel first and then get the ceramic coating on top of it but either way guys you cannot deny the black on both of these trucks looks absolutely fantastic like i said under the sun this looks like a 100 brand new truck and now a lot of you may be saying well justin it is and yes it is it only has 1200 miles on it at this point but at the same time whenever i picked it up brand new off the showroom floor it had swirl marks everywhere and it was just covered in what looked like completely trashed paint so this is a gigantic improvement though i am more than happy with the way that this turned out because as you guys know black is one of those colors that is really hard to keep clean because of swirl marks but now with expel i won't have that problem anymore any kind of small scratches or normal swirl marks that happen from daily washings will come right out with some heat so if you had something like that happen in the film you would just park it here in the sun and they would disappear so as always Big thumbs up from the guys at Blackout Tinning here. Just take a look at these works of art. All right, guys, we are back from Blackout Tinning, and it's kind of dark now, but you can still see the reflection there in the paint. It is absolutely incredible what they are able to do with otherwise destroyed paint. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to ask me why I would have purchased the truck if the paint was in such bad condition, and it's because of my relationship with Blackout Tinning, I knew this is where it was going to go anyway, and I had a really hard time finding this exact spec truck. So this ended up being about a four and a half hour drive to find this truck, and outside of this specific one, I couldn't even find one in this state. The next closest one was somewhere around North Carolina, and I didn't necessarily want to drive that far for it, even though it might have been a little bit better condition. But regardless, when you have a black car, at least in my experience, Expel is where you want to go anyway. In the future, I will probably never own a black car or truck without having it expelled first because it is just impossible to maintain the paint without this help. Now, with that said, it's also going to be very unlikely that I ever own any other color but black at this point, with the occasional red sprinkled in there. Now, in the case of this particular ZR2, it was actually on the dealership lot for about six months. Now, that is most of the reason why the paint was so thrashed is because it sat on their lot for six months during snowstorms and regular washings. And I don't know if you guys know how the dealership washes your car, but it's never a very gentle bath basically meaning they are using pretty much rags covered in everything while they're washing down the truck or the car because it doesn't really matter to them they don't see the stuff that the detailers see now with that said the snows here in pa were pretty bad this winter so odds are very good they were probably clearing the snow off of this truck with a broom and that is also going to attribute to the scratches that were put into the paint now thankfully Places like Blackout Tinning exist, they can get this stuff fixed for you and have it look brand new afterwards. And that's exactly what this looks like. I This looks like completely 100% untouched paint. Now with that said, you guys are probably gonna ask me, what about the badging? What about the ZR2 sticker on the bed? You can actually keep all that stuff. I opted to have that removed and the Expel laid underneath because I have something interesting coming that's gonna replace both of those things. But until then, I was okay with the Chrome badge and the ZR2 logo being stripped off for now, just so the Expel was able to be 
laid down perfectly flat and then of course my additions will go on top of the expel now guys that's pretty much going to do it for today's video i really hope this helped you kind of learn how to protect these things especially if you're going to be taking this off road this is something you absolutely should have if you want it to also come home looking as good as it did when you left now of course if you go into any kind of off-roading and you're getting into trails and you're getting mud splattered all over it you can feel safe that you're not destroying your stock paint and to me that that's a gigantic plus i mean if you want to take these off road like they should be driven you can and you don't have to worry about the paint being destroyed in the process but anyway guys i want to give a gigantic thumbs up to blackout tinning they always hook me up and this is no exception between the zr2 the c8 and behind the garage door the zr1 they are totally protected cars and blackout tinting absolutely nailed all of them nobody can tell that this isn't just paint and that is really really difficult to say for 99 percent of the detailers out there most of the time you're going to pay for a job that doesn't look very well done i'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here though guys so if you liked what you saw please give me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do we're going to have loads of zr2 content coming you're not going to want to miss and as always guys i will catch you in the next upload